Hello, hello, great 12. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, Uabutiwa Sos Ugobela Wemets. And without any further ado, let's look at this question that we have here. Ah. Okay, so we have a uh, question seven on acids and bases. 7.1 says define the term acid according to the Arrhenius theory. So quickly on that, we say an acid is a substance, a substance that produces hydronium ions H3O plus in water. Right. So that's how you're expected to define uh, your acid according to Arena's theory. An acid is a substance that produces hydronium ions in water. Okay. Now, 7.2 says consider the following acid-base reactions. Seven. So we have X, we have Y. Now, 7.2.1 says from reactions X and Y, identify the reaction that illustrates the Arrhenius theory. So which one illustrates Arrhenius theory? From here, we know that Arrhenius, either the acid must produce hydronium ions or the base must produce hydroxide ions. Now, looking at X, we can see that our HF is obviously an acid because it produces hydronium ions. But then looking at Y, we can see that neither the hydronium ions or the hydroxide ions are produced. So Y does not illustrate Arrhenius theory. In fact, it illustrates the lowry branstad theory, right? So we go with X. So 7.2.1, that's X. 7.2.2 says, write down a balanced equation for the hydrolysis of NH4 plus ions, so ammonium ions, right? So how do we uh, do the hydrolysis? Remember, hydrolysis means react with water, right? So any hydrolysis reaction, we take that particular ion, we react it with water, and then remember, we must indicate that this will be a reversible reaction. Now, this here will act as an acid, and the water in this case will act as a base. So, which means the NH4 plus will donate its proton, and then now it will be left off as ammonia. Remember, oxidation number was one. Now, the oxidation number is zero. But then remember, this one is a base, so it must accept the proton. So, it's h 3 O plus from zero oxidation number to positive one oxidation number, it means it has now accepted a proton, right? And that's how you were supposed to indicate this. Now let's check if it's balanced. We have one nitrogen atom and then one nitrogen. How many hydrogens? That's four plus two, it's six. That's three and three, that's six balanced. Oxygen one, oxygen one. So we are fine, it is balanced. Then 7.2.3 is now asking, will the resultant solution from question 7.2.2 be acidic, basic, or neutral? Give a reason for your answer. Now, we base it upon what it, it produces here. According to Arrhenius, an acid is a substance that produces hydronium ions. So if it produces hydronium ions, then it is obvious that it is acidic. If it had produced hydroxide ions instead, OH minus, we would say it would be basic or alkaline. Then we say it's acidic because it produces it produces hydronium ions. Right. So that's how you just go about with that one. Okay. So easy peasy, uh, very easy to score marks on those ones. So already you have two plus two, that's four. And then plus this four, that's eight. So you can see how fair it is now. So that means now you are battling with 10 marks here. Now let's go. 7.3 says a sodium hydroxide solution is prepared by dissolving 
four gram of sodium hydroxide. Remember, sodium hydroxide, that's NaOH, right? Then in water to make 500 centimeter cube solution. So we are given in a centimeter cube here, but then we know that most of the time our volume, we want it in decimeter cube, right? Cubic decimeters, then dm cube. Now to convert from a centimeter cube to dm cube, we know that we have to divide by 1000. So always note that in the back of your mind that every time you are given your volume in centimeter cube, then you might have to convert that uh, by dividing by 1000. So that's 0 0.5 dm cube right now 7.3.1 says calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution now formula for concentration we have two of them that c is equals to n over v or c is equals to m over m times v now in your formula sheet always it is given like this right now this one you'd use it if you already have the number of moles and the volume but here, if you are given the mass instead of the number of moles, then this one would be perfect. Uh, for this situation, we can see that the perfect one to use is that one. Now, if you had uh, opted to use this one, then you do realize that you'd first need to calculate the number of moles. And then thereafter, uh, substitute your number of moles and your volume, you get your concentration. So we have our mass, it's four, and then our molar mass for sodium hydroxide we have 23 for sodium we have 16 for oxygen and then one for hydrogen adding all of this we have 40 grams per mole now we can put 40 here our volume 500 centimeter cube which we did convert it to dm cube that's 0 0.5 now all you have to do now punch all of this into your calculator then you have 0 0.2 mole per dm cube right then just like that it fits to a three mark question because all you did is formula substitution into the formula correct answer with the correct si unit 7.3.2 says during a titration so keyword titration 12.5 centimeter cube of sodium hydroxide which is a base, neutralizes 25 centimeter cube of sulfuric acid, which is of course an acid, according to the following balanced chemical equation. Now we are given the chemical equation and then here they say calculate the pH of the sulfuric acid, right, solution. Now we know pH, the formula to calculate pH is negative log and then H3O plus. Now, obviously, we cannot just come to this formula. This is a seven mark question. So that means that there's still some of the things that we need to solve until we get here. So we need to actually find the concentration of the hydronium ions so that we can be able to calculate the pH. So now let's go through all those steps. Okay, so number one, we obviously need to use this formula here because this is a titration. And then anything that has to do with titration, we know uh, the formula to be used is, so 7.3.2 is CAVA over CBVB is equals to NA over NB, right? So when it says titration, that's the formula to be used. Now, we want the concentration of the acid. Remember, why are we looking for the concentration of the acid? Because the acid is actually the one that produces hydronium ions, according to Arrhenius theory. Right, so you keep that in mind. Now, what is the volume of the acid? We are given 25 centimeter cube. Now, I won't be converting that mainly because I'll also be dividing with the volume of the base here. So, we understand that the SI units will eventually cancel out, so it is not necessary for you to convect, right? But if you do wish to convect, they won't penalize you. Just make sure you convect both of them, right? But then to save time, just don't convect anything, right? Because we understand the SI units will eventually cancel out its mats. Then what's concentration of the base? Remember 7.3.1 
we had already calculated that we found 0 0.2 mole per dm cube remember all of this here these two questions are a sub question to 7.3 so that means we can still apply what we got here from 7.3.1 to calculate 7.3.2 now that's 0 0.2 and then volume of the base that's 12.5 now understand this here with na and nb we are not actually required to calculate the number of moles but what we're just going to use are the molar ratios here right so we have the molar ratios of the acid and the base that's what we substitute in there so we say what is the molar ratio of the acid it's one so the molar ratio i'm talking about the coefficient here from our balanced chemical equation so we have one and then a number of moles of the base or the molar ratio of the base that's two now to calculate here can see that uh, we need to cross multiply this to that this to that right so obviously we are now going to end up with ca if we make it the subject of the formula it's 0 0.2 multiplied by 12.5 so because when it multiplies with one it doesn't change and then we have two multiplied by the 25 which will be the divisor now now ca we punch all of this into our calculator we get a 0 0.05 mole per dm cube which we do realize that this represents the concentration of the sulfuric acid right that's the acid so therefore 0 0.05 mole per dm cube is the concentration of the sulfuric acid but you need to be very careful when it comes to sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is what we know as the diprotic acid so we know that sulfuric acid is a diprotic acid what is the meaning of that what is diprotic acid right diprotic acid simply means that sulfuric acid donates two protons right in grade 11 we were taught that sulfuric acid actually ionizes in two steps so the two-step ionization of sulfuric acid is where we took the sulfuric acid reacted with water and then it would produce a uh, HSO4 minus plus the hydronium ion since now the acid we understand it donates a proton here so that the hydronium ions are produced and then we can see it from here now the second step of the ionization is whereby now we take it from here we further ionize it by taking it from here and then again reacting it with water then when it reacts with water this here acts as an acid so it donates a proton so now we are left with so 42 minus right indicating that two protons have now been donated and then again another hydronium ion is produced now looking at this we can see that sulfuric acid alone just one mole of the sulfuric acid produces two hydronium ions through the two-step ionization so that means we can now conclude that the concentration of the sulfuric acid will actually be represented by twice the concentration of the sulfuric acid right so if we want the concentration of the hydronium ions in the solution we have to actually uh, calculate twice the concentration of the sulfuric acid why because sulfuric acid actually produces two hydronium ions as we can see through our two-step ionization of the sulfuric acid so that means this is not the concentration that we are going to use but rather we will use the concentration after we have multiplied by two so it is very important to note that when we are working with sulfuric acid the fact that it is diprotic means that after we are we, we have found the concentration of the sulfuric acid we need to multiply it by two so that we find the concentration of the hydronium ions in the solution so therefore the concentration of the hydronium ions is now 0 0.1 mole per dm cube 
And then this here will be the concentration that we use to calculate the pH. So now allow me to just erase here so that I calculate the pH. So pH will now be equals to negative log concentration of the hydronium ions. Right. So now you understand why we've been wanting to calculate the concentration of the hydronium ions because actually from the formula, that's what we have. So that's negative log round bracket. We put our concentration now. And then just simply grab your calculator, umshinwe ibalo, and then just press this. Then you have one. So that becomes your solution, right? So that becomes your pH. Clean, right? So that's how you were supposed to go about answering that question uh, for seven marks. And then all in all, we have a total of 18 marks, right? So... Make sure that uh, you use this question here um, as your practice question and just try to understand the approach that I took into answering this question here. But then with all that being said, guys, please press the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the lesson and then you've found it helpful. And if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, Please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance. Remember, do not be selfish. We are winning as a team.